Students, let's move on to the next question. The image of point P when viewed from the top of the slabs will be? The options are as follows. Option A, 2 centimeters above P. Option B, 1.5 centimeters above P. Option C, 2 centimeters below P. And option D, 1 centimeter above P. Students, this question might look very easy and simple, but there are every possibility that you can go wrong. So let us analyze this sum in a very simple manner. Basically, this sum is related to the concept of normal shift, where we know that when an object is viewed normally, it appears to be shifted above. So among all those four options, we can delete or eliminate option C because it is 2 centimeters below P, which is not possible. So looking into the sum further, what we can notify here is a very important point which we are supposed to take into consideration is normal shift does not depend on the depth below the medium. That is for example, if we have placed it at a distance of 2 centimeters or say 3 centimeters, the normal shift will remain the same and there is no change in the value of normal shift. So here, see the diagram students where we have two slabs of the same thickness and of the same refractive index. And you can also see that they have given us a depth of 2 centimeters which we are not supposed to take into consideration. So when we have two slabs, let us take the normal shift of the first slab to be NS1 and the normal shift of the second slab to be NS2. The sum effect will give us the total normal shift. And we all know that the formula for normal shift is given as Ns is equal to T into 1 minus 1 by mu. So, the effective normal shift which we can write it as Ns is equal to Ns1 plus Ns2. That is the combined effect of the two glass slabs. Since the thickness and the refractive index are the same for the two glass slabs, we can write it as 2 into T into 1 minus 1 by mu. Thickness is given as 1.5 and the refractive index is also written as 1.5. So which is equal to 2 into 1.5 divided into 0.5 by 1.5. So which is nothing but 1 centimeter. Therefore, the option for this particular question is option D which is the correct answer, 1 centimeter above P. Dear students, let's move on to another question which is related to PRISM. The refractive index of a prism for a monochromatic wave is root 2 and its refracting angle is 60 degree. For minimum deviation, the angle of incidence will be. The options are option A 30 degree, option B 45 degree, option C 60 degree and option D 75 degree. Students, you would have learnt in your theory classes the concept related to prism where in this question they have given the angle of prism to be 60 degree and the refractive index to be root 2. So what we can write is since it is at the minimum deviation we can write R is equal to A by 2 which is equal to 30 degree. So we are supposed to find out the angle of incidence. So we can use the Snell's law which is n is equal to sin i by sin r. So that is equal to sin i by sin 30. Root 2 is equal to sin i by 
1 by 2 or root 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to sin i. Therefore, i is equal to sin inverse of 1 by root 2 which is equal to 45 degree. Therefore, the angle of incidence will be 45 degree. Option B is the right answer for this particular question. students let's move on to the next sum a rod of length 10 centimeters lies along the principal axis of a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeters in such a way that the end closer to the pole is 20 centimeters away from it the length of the image is the options are option a 10 centimeters option b 15 centimeters option c 5 centimeters and option D 20 centimeters. Now students let us analyze the sum where we have a concave mirror of focal length 10 centimeters we have a rod of length 10 centimeters which is placed along the principal axis. The two edges of the rod we have marked it as M and N. So now the point N, one end of the rod which is placed at C. So students what you are supposed to understand here is the image will also be formed at C. So we can mark it as N dash and the image of the object M which is placed beyond the C will be formed between C and F. So we get the image of the rod that is at M dash. So the total distance of M from the pole will be written as 30 centimeters which is taken as the object distance. So to find out the length of the image let us find out the image distance first using the mirror formula. That is 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. Since it is a concave mirror, we can write it as 1 by minus 10 which is equal to the object distance is minus 30 plus 1 by V. 1 by V is equal to 1 by minus 10 plus 1 by 30. 1 by V is equal to 1 by minus 10 plus 1 by 30. On simplification, we get the value of image distance as minus 15 centimeters. So here, the question what they have asked us is to find out the length of the image which can be written as 20 minus 15 which is equal to 5 centimeters. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C that is 5 centimeters. Vidyarthikale, Ivaga Mundin Prashnege Hogona. When light is incident on the interface of glass and air, as shown in the diagram, if green light just totally internally reflected, then the emerging ray in air contains options he gide, option A, yellow, orange, red, option B, violet, indigo, blue, option C, all colors and option D, all colors except green. So now let us analyze the problem. Here we have a ray diagram where white light is incident 
at the air glass interface and clearly as shown in the question green light is just grazing the surface. So according to the sequence which we have that is whip gear which is arranged in the higher order of wavelength for the green light if we take the angle of incidence it clearly shows that the critical angle for violet, indigo and blue is less than green light and the critical angle for yellow, orange and red is greater than the green light. So which indicates that the critical angle for the colors yellow, orange and red is greater than the angle of incidence or in other words we can say that the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle. So we all know that the condition for TIR to take place is the angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle. So clearly in this question what we can analyze is the critical angle for yellow, orange and red is greater than the angle of incidence. Therefore TIR does not take place and these are the three colors which will emerge out. So the option for this particular question which is the correct option is option A which is yellow, orange and red.